Hey everyone, it's italkapple and this video is all about creating a more minimal Mac experience. So in my last video, my most recent video, I talked about using your desktop more efficiently and I gave you some tips about the dock. In this video, I'm gonna expand on that along with a bunch of other things, so I'll just get right into it. I'm gonna show my desktop here. I actually had it hidden for the intro and you can see that I've got uh, a bunch of files on my desktop and throughout the day you might be downloading things from the web or saving things to your desktop because you're not quite sure where to put them. Well at the end of the day it gets pretty messy. So what I recommend doing is daily or weekly right click on your desktop, go to arrange by and then kind. And this automatically lines up all your files neatly on the side of your desktop so it already looks nicer and they're arranged by the file type so now it's a lot easier to actually sort these into folders so all these zip files i've already opened these so i can drag these to my trash um the dmg here already opened it so i can drag this to the trash then i've got a, a few pictures and so i'll open a finder window and if you go to your home folder you'll see that you've already got a bunch of folders there where you can sort your files like documents, music, pictures. And I also recommend creating some of your own, like I have a work in progress folder. I'm gonna move these pictures into my uh, pictures folder. And then these two are just examples of a document which I would move to my documents folder. And within my documents folder, you guys know that I've got a bunch of other folders. But I actually don't need these, I'm gonna throw them in the trash. So now my desktop already looks a lot cleaner. The next thing is, this is obviously all optional, but if you've got a small um, screen, like let's say you have a MacBook Air and it's only an 11 inch screen or even a 13 inch screen, um, I recommend hiding your dock. So you can just go to your dock and kind of go over the separator thing here and right click and then go to turn hiding on. You obviously have a bunch of other options. And now that hiding is turned on, the dock's out of the way. You can still access the dock like so. It's completely functional. It's just out of the way and it's not as distracting. Now the next thing we're gonna talk about is desktop wallpaper because once your desktop is so clean, you're gonna wanna have a nice wallpaper to show off. Um, I'm gonna show you a couple websites for very minimal wallpaper. And if you're not into the, like the really minimal wallpaper looks, I'm really not that into it. I like having more like nature-y type wallpapers or abstract wallpapers, then you can check out my video. I'll have an annotation here and I'll have a link down below in the description. Um, I made a video a while ago about websites for everything you can possibly think of for customizing your Mac. So that includes wallpapers. So check that video out when you're done watching this video. Um, yeah, so the first one is simpledesktops.com and you can see the this just has a bunch of really um, simple wallpapers and I'm pretty sure that I downloaded this robot wallpaper from here. So just you can scroll through these. The other one is minimalwall.com. This is very, very simple. These are like kind of slogany, preachy wallpapers, I think. Um, but if that's your thing, then it's a good website for that. Um, yeah, so those are just a couple websites for really minimalistic wallpapers. Next part of this video is all about minimalistic apps. So now that you've hidden your dock, and if you followed my suggestion of removing applications that you don't use on a daily basis from your dock, um, you probably want a really quick way to launch those applications. Well, one way is using Spotlight. The shortcut for that on your keyboard is Command Space, or you can click the little icon in the corner. But Spotlight, for me, often gets kind of slow, um, and there's lots of alternatives to Spotlight. I have a whole video about application launchers also. Annotation over here, and I'll have the link down below. This is my go-to application launcher now. It's called Alfred. If I hit option space, that's my hotkey for it, it'll pop up. It's really simple. I can type in SC for screen flow. 
if I type the space bar, I can open a file so I can go to like uh, documents. And you can do other things on here besides launching applications and opening files. You can actually go, um, if I type in tw if I type in Twitter, I can open Twitter user, I can open Twitter or kind of, or I can search Twitter for something specific. So I'm going to open Twitter user I talk Apple and that launches a Safari window and it should open I talk Apple, but my internet is very slow. Type in some random math equation like 888 divided by 222, which is 4. And if I hit enter, it copies that answer to the clipboard. Just really useful things like that. Next app is called Dateline. I'll launch that. And I normally have this um, running on my desktop. Dateline is a very minimal desktop calendar app. You can see it's right here on the bottom of my desktop. It shows the days, um, the date, and it shows what day we're currently on. It's in the menu bar, so I can click the icon and I can add a new event to the calendar right from here. I can go to the preferences just to show you this is so customizable. If I go to appearance right now, well, there's different themes and I'm currently using this minimalist theme that I've kind of uh, customized a bit. I've changed the font and a couple colors, but that's it. Just because I like it to be very simple and not distracting at all. Um, but there's different things like autumn. So you can see now it's at the bottom here. Autumn's a little more showy, but you can change all the colors like this. So this is minimalist vertical. If you're more into the vertical style, you've got lots of options like changing the window level. So right now it's on normal windows. So if I was to move this window over here, um, it goes on top. But if I choose floating windows, if I move this window here, you can see that the calendar kind of dis is displayed over this window, so I can always see it. I like keeping it on normal windows. Um, under events, I can actually show my events on the desktop. So if you're somebody who's got lots of events for the day and you always like to see what you have without having iCal open, you can have this window appear here. It's not distracting at all. It actually fades out if it's not the active window. If you're not hovering over it and I can switch through the days so here's one where I have an event have a golf date with somebody Dateline's available in the Mac App Store for $5.99 I think it's worth it if you're somebody who uses the calendar a lot and this has actually made me use my calendar more like want to put in more events and stuff and it's just really useful to have on your desktop here that way you don't have to open up iCal to like see what events you have going on so it's $5.99 in the App Store and you guys are lucky and I'm lucky because Machine Codex was kind enough to offer a promo code for giveaway. If you want a chance to win Dateline, just type Dateline dash and then any comment below. Next step is Bowtie. Bowtie is an iTunes controller. You can see it's at the bottom corner of my screen here. The iTunes window is fairly large. It takes up decent amount of space on your desktop. So what I do is I hide the window with Command H and then I just use bow tie down here to control the music. If I hit play, I know you can't hear it because I muted it, but something is playing in the background and I've got my forward and backward buttons and that's kind of really all that I need to control my music. Um, if I do for some reason want to pick a particular song, then I can just do command tab and then find iTunes again and then open it up and then choose the song. And with bow tie, there's a bunch of different themes. It's up here in my menu bar. You can go to preferences and then themes and it comes with a few and you can also download more right from within the app or you can search for more online and you can also manage all the shortcuts I like bow tie because it's so minimal and it's not distracting, but it's really useful and you can personalize it with themes. So I figured I'd mention it in this video. The final app I'm going to show you today is an app that I've mentioned a lot on this channel and that's Notational Velocity. 
It's definitely my favorite Mac app. It's so simple, it's so useful, it's so quick, and it's really minimal. So that's why I'm talking about it. Um, I use this for storing useful information, for typing up like what I wanna talk about in my video, for brainstorming, um, even for like school stuff you could see here. I don't know, this was just some lab data that I wanted to save. Um, and you can see here it comes with a bunch of really handy keyboard shortcuts that you can use. That wraps up this video. If you have any questions, leave a comment below. I actually have time to answer them because I'm it's summer and I don't have school. Um, follow me on Twitter. It's my username's iTalkApple. Um, you can find me on Tumblr, which is my blog at iTalkApple.tumblr.com. I'm on Flickr. I'll have links to everything that I've mentioned down there in the video description and yeah thank you very much for watching and don't forget if you want to win dateline to enter a comment just make sure that you write dateline before your comment so i know that you want to win yeah thanks for watching